scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Psalm 100 and 27. In fact, I'll read the whole psalm. It starts by saying, except the Lord builds the house. It says, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over the city, the watchman watched but in vain. Verse 2 says, it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Verse 3. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Verse 5 says, Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. And then he says, They shall not be ashamed but they shall speak with the enemies at the gate. Children were not designed to be a cause to any family. Are we together now? Yes. And so let me... Um, I'll invite the following families. Please, when I call you, just come up and, and just stand behind me facing the crowd. Um... Jimo Emmanuel and his wife, and now their precious daughter. Please celebrate them as they come. And then Oluwaseo Ajeleye and Shade alongside their daughter. And then finally, George Isaac and Blessing Chantel Musa. Praise the Lord. Just come stand, husband, wife, husband, wife. Please let the men hold the babies if they can. We're about to speak. We're doing it the Bible way. Just give me a minute to tell you a little about these our adorable children. For the family of Jimo Emmanuel. God bless them with a beautiful daughter on the 21st of November, 2018. Called Hevziva Oshiovidi Yachit Emmanuel. I hope you know that your clap is a seed. Hallelujah. We have, we have a lot of selfish Christians in this auditorium. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. And then um, for the Ojeleyes, the Lord bless them on the 23rd of January. Also with a beautiful daughter, Joy Soteria Olua Tomilayo Ojeleye. And then George and his dear wife, Chantel. The Lord bless them with a daughter. Ah, ladies. 
what in the world is happening. I hope the ones in the womb are hearing that we need a revenge. <laughs> Praise the Lord. For George and blessing, the Lord blessed them with Diadem Abna George, a beautiful daughter also, on the 30th of January 2019. Praise the Lord. I, I sincerely... Many children were dedicated but to the wrong things. Some were dedicated to stones, some to trees, some to shrines. Is that true? Incisions were made on the bodies of people. Their destinies were destroyed and their whole lives completely destroyed. To dedicate means to hand over to the lordship and the care and the protection of God. To dedicate does not mean to make a church aware that you now have a child. Praise the Lord. And so this, our great brothers and sisters have come to just hand over their children to the Lord. Let me tell you something. Truly speaking, in the little time that I've spent in ministry, I have learned that if God blesses you with a child, it truly is a blessing. I know there are some of you here seated right now. You came trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And God will give it to you in Jesus' name. But then that every time God blesses a man. Look at this for a moment. These beautiful children are as innocent as anyone or anything. But their destinies are entirely in the hands of the mentorship that is provided by their parents. In this little girl is the potential of a thief and a criminal. And in this same little girl is the potential of a Deborah and a Mary and an Esther. So when God grants grace to have children, it is a trust that should not be taken lightly. And sincerely on behalf of Jesus Christ and the ministry, I celebrate and congratulate every one of you. We thank God for these blessings in the name of Jesus. Um, I just want you to stretch your hands where you are and let's just bless them. You can remain standing. Let's just speak into the lives of the children. Are you praying? Bless them. We declare that our children are taught of the Lord and great is their peace. We will never have a family of criminals in this ministry. We will never have irresponsible children. We will never have children who will serve another God. They will follow the God of their parents. Are you praying? You are also sowing a seed for your own children. And if you know anyone around you who is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, now is the time to pray. And Father, in the name of Jesus, as a family of faith, as your representatives here on earth, we want to give you thanks for these beautiful children. We bless you because these children are your reward. We decree and declare that in their lifetime, O oh God, when you look down on earth, you will know of a truth that they are a reward to you in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that when you search for men to use, these children will show up first in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that they are a voice, a witness, a remnant in their generation. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the God of their parents, that is the God they will serve. In the name of Jesus, we invoke the covenant that you have with this ministry and with our father in faith, Apostle Joshua Selman, and with every father of faith that we honor, we decree that those covenants will speak for you in the name of Jesus. By reason of this dedication, they are separated, exempted from the wickedness of ancestry and nativity. And in the name of Jesus, they stand for you, Lord. They grow in wisdom. They grow in stature. They find favor with God. They find favor with men. In the name of Jesus, we decree. 
even as the wombs were open for them to come forth every other kind of fruitfulness the fruitfulness of the mind the fruitfulness of the hands the fruitfulness of the lips the fruitfulness of the womb it continues in increasing measure in their lives in the name of jesus the resources spiritual financial emotional physical to raise them in the fear of the lord is released to their parents and everyone who will contribute to their upbringing in the name of jesus we give you praise mighty father in jesus name we decree amen praise the lord now joy soteria Olua Tommy Lyo Ojeleye, in the name of Jesus, we dedicate you. We decree and declare that you will serve no other God except the God of your parents. In the name of Jesus, we declare that the resources to raise you to be a model child, let it be released right now. We put a mark upon you that when you get to the age of discretion, you will serve Jesus and serve Him only. We declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that you are dedicated even in the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sorry, I'm having to work on this. I apologize. Help me, Victor. I can't find it here. Okay. This is what I'm looking for. Diadem, Abna, George. In the name of Jesus, we dedicate this dear one we declare that you will be like the deborah of your generation in the name of jesus out of your womb will come kings and warriors for the spirit i pray that you will go from glory to glory and from grace to grace therefore we dedicate you in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit and finally hefziba oshiovodi yachit emmanuel in the name of Jesus, we declare you will follow the God of your parents. You will not turn to the right nor to the left. We declare that you will live long. You have no business with the grave. You have no business with death. May the Lord keep you and bless you. Therefore, we dedicate you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let's celebrate Jesus very quickly. Very quickly. We'll just present the certificates. Um, these are signed certificates from the ministry. It's an evidence so that the children will know that they were dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. The first here um, is to Joy Soteria Olua Tomilayo Ojeleye. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Second, Deadem Abna. George, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord honor you. Congratulations, Chantel. Congratulations. And finally, Hefziba Oshiovodi. Pronounce it. Oshiovidi. Oh, I see. Oshiovidi. The I is E. Oshiovidi. Yachit Emmanuel. Congratulations. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. God bless you. Please celebrate them as they go back to their seats. Thank you. If you know you're going to have children and that those children will be taught of the Lord, celebrate them in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, let me encourage you. Let me encourage you honestly. If I were you, I will make sure at least my seed gets into these homes. Now, I'm not, I'm not coercing you. These are kingdom principles. If I were you, I would tie a seed, especially if you do not have a child yet. You can always meet them after the service and say, Sir, I may not know you, but I believe in the wisdom of the word, and I'm sowing into the destiny of this child, sowing into the destiny of this baby, and then you'll find out that you program great possibilities in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 4. Let's get to the business of the night now. Mark chapter 4. We trust God for a quick walk tonight, but we trust God for a marvelous one. Mark chapter 4.
while I prepared for um, the meeting tonight, I was really struck again by how much we need to see the power and the glory of God revealed in the church and in our midst once again. Here and there we have seen pockets of miracles, signs and wonders. We have had testimonies, but in this end time there is a growing cry in the realm of the spirit for such a demonstration of the reality of the life the power the glory of the christ chapter 4 and i'll read from verse 23 down to 25. did i say mark matthew i meant to say matthew chapter 4 please 23 down to 25 and jesus went about galilee we're reading three scriptures teaching in their synagogues pay attention and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people and his fame went throughout syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and he healed them next verse and there followed him great multitudes of people from galilee and from decapolis and from jerusalem and from judea and beyond jordan mark chapter 1 mark chapter 1 we'll begin to read from verse 32 mark chapter 1 god is still in the business of miracles of signs of wonders of transformation turning lives around and causing people to experience the reality of the kingdom and at even that's evening now when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed noticed that they always seem to be in the same group possessed lunatics diseased and those with all kinds of infirmity and the bible says and all the city was gathered together at the door 34 and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him one last scripture and then i'll teach a little and we begin to pray matthew chapter 10 this is jesus commissioning the 12 test running the things that he had taught them we're reading from verse 7 and 8 as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand and then heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely ye have received freely give so there is a way you can give the the manifestation of the power and the glory of god is also a kind of giving that you can step into people's situations and turn everything around by the power of the holy spirit look how authoritative jesus was when he sent them it was not a suggestion it didn't seem like something they were to try and bring back a result he said as you go go and do this go and do that but for us largely in the church today these realities are just bible stories are we together now and we just hope that they work when we gather like this we can only hope the sick are healed we can only hope the oppressed are delivered but there seems to be a level of certainty 
certainty we need a restoration of genuine and notable miracle signs and wonders in the church they have to be genuine they have to be notable and consistent if we want to see dimensions of God's glory made manifest and if we want to see our communities and our territories call upon the name of the Lord again then please listen to me much more than oratory much more than good English much more than good speaking we need a restoration of the power of God provable the ability of the spirit that can cause men to return back with testimonies testimonies in scripture have always encouraged the faith of people listen let me tell you this miracles in themselves listen please miracles in themselves are not enough to convert a man it is the holy spirit let, let me balance it right now because there were people who attended the crusades of jesus yet they ran away from him until the holy ghost came upon the church so that an individual in fact there were scribes and pharisees who were in almost every meeting yet they never believed jesus so miracles in themselves are not the true basis for conviction and conversion that is the ministry of the holy spirit everybody say the holy spirit the bible says that when he the spirit of truth is come listen it says he will guide you into all truth he will convict reproof now the world of sin of righteousness and of judgment however miracles were designed by god to be a support structure that consolidates on what the holy spirit is doing to aid conviction that will ultimately lead to conversion I believe in miracles I truly do now I've had a lot of thoughts I'm trying to break some of the things that stop us from receiving and um, one of it is the fact that Christians were not designed to be the ones chasing miracles I agree I agree that there is a more superior way of living where we live by the principles of the kingdom but let me admit to you that the need for the miraculous will remain in the church and even in the midst of believers for two reasons number one the reality of our humanity the fact that the human nature is still in us there will always be a need for the power of god to intervene once and again please listen to what i'm saying it's very very important psalm 27 verse 13 and 14 whilst it is true that the most excellent way is to live by the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom that immunes you from the need to have god crash land certain things in your life and produce certain results the principles of the kingdom were designed to bring predictability to our lives a miracle is needed because a law had been violated and god's love and mercy needs to come in to bridge that default are we together now however because of the reality of our human nature even though we are still stepping experientially into the image and the character of the christ here and there we will find ourselves missing out on the full standard of god's expectation as required to walk in total victory hence the need for the miraculous where is a doctor here these guys are not here okay let's uh, okay please stand up dave watch this dave is a doctor and i want you to listen with me for a moment did you know that the best way to enjoy your life is not to go to the hospital every day are we together now you should get to a point where you eat healthy you are healthy and then you live right but there are many factors here and there although you are aware of the fact that eating healthy and living right is the more excellent way every once and again you will catch yourself needing this man now if the doctors decide to close the hospital just because there is a more excellent way it means that on your journey to becoming that more excellent way you will not even live to live to, to, to lift um to reach that level you will die and just finish up 
So doctor is a sign and a symbol of God's mercy. That while there is a higher standard for you, his mercy is still trailing you. So that if and when you need the doctor, he can still come. Are we together? Please sit down. The miraculous is still important even for believers. There are times while you are learning the principle, for instance, of wealth and abundance because it takes a while to be established to understand that principle. What happens to your rent today? Tomorrow you will have enough to feed nations, but today there is a concern. So he said, give us this day. Lord, you can give us. While we learn to access that supply, we can cry that you give us today. Very important. The human nature of men, believers and unbelievers, matured believers and those who are just starting alike will at one point or the other, because of the reality of their humanity, need the intervention of God's power. The psalmist said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I had fainted. That means that I would have been a foregone story save for this intervention. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The second reason why all including believers will need the miraculous hand of God at one point or the other is because of the presence of wicked spirits. First John chapter 5 and verse 19. The Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that there is a contention that consistently plagues the believer. Paul writing and teaching the church in Ephesus, he taught them how to, as we call it, to sit in their position. That, that understanding that they have been seated with Christ. Then he taught them how to walk worthy of their calling. But then he also taught them how to stand against the wiles of the enemy. The Bible says, and we know that we are of God. And in spite of the fact that we are of God, the whole world, how many of the world? It didn't say Africa. So whether you go to Europe or whether you go to America, the Caribbeans, wherever you are, provided you are in this world, the Bible says it lies in wickedness. There are two ways to have your car jammed. You hit somebody or somebody hits you. In any way, the car will pay for it. So we need the miraculous hand of God. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, a number of us are too young to understand the reality of wickedness in this life because we have been shielded by the sacrifices of others. Whether you sow or not, there is a harvest. But as, as you begin to transit through life, you will understand that there is a real warfare that happens in this life. Warfare for your soul. Warfare for your children. Warfare for your finances. Warfare for your relevance. And it takes an understanding that if God be for us, hallelujah, he says, who can be against us? Reverse the statement. If God is not for us, who will not be against us? That means my security is having the hand of God with me. As a man of God, the devil will not sit down and allow you to keep winning souls every time you are converting people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Then he will cross his leg and laugh. No. Every arsenal that can be launched against your church, your ministry will come. And if you do not understand when to call for help and say, Lord, I invoke it. Ah, look, the Bible says the body of Moses Michael was carrying the dead body of Moses to heaven and suddenly Satan traps him in the heavenlies and was fighting for the body. And he said, the Lord rebuke you. The Lord, I use a power that is greater than you, rebuke you. Even a dead man's body was still useful for Satan. Not to talk about you who is alive. 
a dead man who does not have a will who does not have emotions but satan said the body can still be relevant a spirit is searching for that body and that spirit will resurrect as moses and deceive people so there was potentials even in a dead body the same way the devil used the face of your mother to press you and now you think it's your mother that is a witch demons are crying and wanting bodies are you learning something tonight let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i really hate to be the bearer of bad news but i will be lying to you if i tell you that all you see is all there is there is real warfare in this life there is victory assured there can be victory established but it does not negate the fact that there is warfare when your children leave your house and go to school for that five six hours there is more warfare than you know are we together you release them from your house they come back asking you questions you are even afraid to answer there's warfare you think the devil will sit down and allow you to be the first person in your family to build a house who do you think you are your father tried to rise and that altar crushed him to pieces and here you come boasting that i am in christ if you don't understand how to tap into the help of god that same hand will crush you to pieces this is where many believers continue to deceive themselves and mock themselves jesus himself needed the father he said father don't forsake me this is not the right time to forsake me eloi eloi lamak sabachthani the world needed help from heaven the world was unfruitful until he was assisted by the holy spirit apostle my church is not growing i'm a faithful man of god i love the lord i see visions i can pray for the sick members are not coming because growth is warfare people are not stupid to just leave their homes and come and stand to hear you do you know the amount of devils and demons that stop you from coming here today do you know the amount of excuses the devil orchestrated satan is desperate for your downfall if you ever found yourself here is a sign that your miracle has started i'm telling you this we are not alone in this world get used to it there are real spirits not only angels not only the holy spirit there is an old story here there are spirits older than everyone and they have not been prohibited from moving to and fro they can still move and let me tell you sooner or later they will land around the vicinity of your family and the, the bible says the whole world lies in not badness wickedness many of us today are seated here right now in the next few minutes when we begin to pray that is when you will wonder so this thing in my life i thought was a coincidence is a pre-programming of wickedness let me tell you this i have seen the wickedness of men and spirits too many times in my little life i have looked at destinies that i know this person should not be here But tonight in the name of jesus the hand of god will come upon us and that everything that does not name the name of christ must give way what about your finances you thought it's just about business it is warfare i've taught you this the devil when you have vowed before god that lord if you bless me your kingdom will be advanced and the devil had that prayer i hope you know when you praise not only god that hears when you pray the realm of the spirit hears your prayer that's why he says this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare as i was prophesying to you the devil had it he will not keep quiet get up and war a good warfare i thought the prophecy should work itself he said war a good warfare 
Otherwise, you will see it in the realm of the spirit, but it will never manifest. Many believers are ignorant of this one thing. There are many families sitting down right now looking at me. And you do not know that if you do not rise. I got several text messages from people. Apostle, this is wrong with me. I, I just replied them and said, come for miracle service. I, I don't know how I'm going to start giving you this explanation. You will learn after you are touched. If I allow you to learn, you may die and never have the opportunity to hear the message. It is something that needs the power of God first. You will grow spiritually, but in the interim, let's deal with the devil for you. So that by the time he is dealt with, you can have the time to grow. I was ministering yesterday and a precious lady that God touched, I mean, lumps all over her. Can you imagine that kind of wickedness? I think one of them said also that she was operated and then it returned again. That means it's a living thing. It's only living things that can move. They can go and come. Dead things lie down there. They removed it and it left where they threw it and came back. Is that a dead thing? I hear the chains falling. Listen. When God gives you 10 naira and it runs away from you, don't you think something is driving it away? Please listen to what I'm telling you. When somebody promises that Sam, I will bless you, and all of a sudden, because he promised to bless you, he starts going down. He intended to bless you. Have you seen people like that? They say, I'm waiting for salary to bless you. The moment they say, I want to bless you, that money will never come. There's something wrong. God gave us intelligence. We are not stupid people. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, for as long as you justify darkness, you are not ready for victory. You must get angry and say, no way. Lord, I have come like Jacob. I will not let you go. Some of you travel from far. Some of you are connecting from different parts of the world. Please refuse. Don't come and play games. Lord, there must be an evidence. There must be an evidence. You get pregnant as a Christian, as a tongue-talking Christian. You go to bed and hear these wicked spirits. They come to molest you and in two, three months you've lost the child. The doctors will do their best to support you. But doctors cannot treat spirits. It takes the power of God. It says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. There are cases that can never be diagnosed medically. Machines don't diagnose spirits. I heard the testimony of a woman. Genuine testimony. Her husband had died. Died and gone to be with the Lord. And a spirit came to her in the dream. And tried to molest her. And within two, three months she, she was pregnant. She noticed she was pregnant from the realm of the spirit. With a physical child. I don't know who made us so carnal that we think we will casually please be careful you watch TV and people trivialize the reality of the realm of the spirit if you are a pastor here listen to me end time ministry is real warfare you are not going to stand and cross your leg and my church should keep growing just because you are reading a novel about church growth no it takes you subduing the powers that be is God speaking to someone tonight? Fathers here, you need to stand up and take charge. Every father is a priest. You are already ordained as a father, as a priest over your home. And you are not going to watch darkness come and sit down and say it does not matter. That's why men who are not born again and serious with God, it's a serious problem. You open your shop to sell. And there is a pungency there is a sense of repulsion you have everything that should be bought and people leave your shop and go somewhere to queue no we wrestle not against flesh and blood please listen to me but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness they don't reside in hell they are in the heavenlies
I counseled a man of God, I think it was two or three years ago. The devil, I don't know, the devil uses his face to oppress his members. Like you have a church now, and then you will see my face. I will come with an axe in a dream or something and oppress you. Will you attend that church? And everybody started saying the man is a fake man. Truly, I don't know anything about him. But when I got to meet him, he said, Apostle, what is this? He said, I got born again in the present. I have a history. What is this thing? Everybody is saying I'm a fake man of God. I went to collect power that they see me in dreams. I said, that's it. The enemy has done this. The devil would divide best friends by using the face of a best friend to oppress someone. Then lead that best friend to a, a prophet who may not be fake, but is not spiritually accurate. And he will say, your friend is jealous and wants to kill you. Nonsense! Listen to me. These spirits are actors. They can join you together. They look for where trouble is and guide you. Like the Holy Spirit guides you in all truth. The devil can guide you in all trouble police is about to arrest a thief you, you find out that you are you are passionate about leaving home to go there you were minding your business but now you just get somewhere and they arrest all of you it's not normal it's not normal it's not normal we need miracles so we need real divine interventions we need the hand of god to come upon our lives we need the grace of god you are in your office with all kinds of people listen one of the things we have to learn is that not everybody is born again i think we are used to the fact that we are all born again around a circle so because of that you believe that the same way in your office everyone is born again let me tell you there are people who are fraternized with darkness to a realm and a level that except you are powerful indeed they will not only destroy you they will destroy you slowly hallelujah i think he was here i don't know which month i hope maybe the family may even be here they brought for me a medical student the final year last session the lady just became mad is it because of reading is she the first to go to school it's a spirit a woman labors on her daughter my brothers and my sisters and just when this woman is about to reap the reward of her labor have you not heard of people who graduated on their way going back home to celebrate a bike comes out from nowhere there is no bike that comes out from nowhere thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence well you can choose to believe what i'm telling you or you can choose to allow time prove to you that this life does not joke if jesus himself got up early in the morning to pray and put everything in order he says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth thereof i've shared with you how many times i'm i want to take a trip and somebody genuine prophet genuine some of them are my friends and send me a text and say apostle be careful i saw an accident i saw this that is the plan of the devil but the ability to know his plan and conquer it is where victory comes from listen to me it is selfish to forget about your family and forget the let me tell you this you know esther was going to make a mistake the same mistake of Vashti, Esther was about to make it. She was about to forget her people and the purpose for which she went to the palace. And Mordecai said, don't think that when they are done with us, you will be spared. Sometimes when the devil wants to destroy you, he will leave the most powerful person to continue while he destroys every other person. Do you know that their going down will affect you spiritually? Tonight we came for serious business. I vowed a vow that I'm not going to waste the time of any of God's people. No. This, this, this ministry is not a museum. This is the place where we dislodge darkness. You, you have to return with a testimony.
a woman called me one time she had this son whether he joined friends or so and went somewhere i don't know what he went to go and do this young boy and maybe about 10 or 11 started hearing voices physical voices like word of knowledge sometimes they can tell him kill yourself or pour hot water you know you you know that is of the devil when the instruction does not carry the life of god god will never ask you to pour hot water on your body how does it glorify jesus the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy and this boy continued to do all these kinds of things and i told her, i said mama thank god you brought this boy this boy would die for nothing one day hell is rearming itself to make sure there is an onslaught an assault against the body of christ and many times we are just crossing our legs listen i need you to know i've taught you about warfare we teach warfare correctly we are not people who fight from a standpoint of foolishness we are standing from a standpoint of victory but that establishment you must do it otherwise victory will not be automatic Hebrews chapter 2 he says but we do not yet see all things under his feet please let me say this respectfully be careful who you listen to and be careful the content of the spiritual information you are giving just because people are sincere may not mean their communications are balanced and accurate listen to what I'm telling you many people have become casualties of imbalanced spiritual communications Jesus told us everywhere in his crusade demons came they were not afraid of Jesus' own crusade demons they followed people they didn't wait outside and enter later on they came imagine Jesus in a crusade praise the Lord the people shouted hallelujah and the demons were still in them and they did not go when the world is not engaged it does not have any power to do anything a spirit can sit down the same way some of you are sitting quietly now as sincere and innocent as you are in the next few minutes you'll be surprised what will be happening in your own life and then you will see doors that have been closed opening like this then you will know that these doors were not closed by mistake and will not be opened by mistake everything good comes to everybody except you the moment is your turn something terrible happens a gentleman just sees you and say beautiful lady can i go and see your parents and that's the end of it his business goes down his life goes down everything crashes until he leaves you then he goes back up do you believe what i'm teaching you So while it is true that it's the Holy Spirit that ultimately creates conviction, the manifestation of the miraculous in our lives and in the church. You know, when I came down, you need to see the multitudes of people outside. There are people sitting on the soccer way here. My brothers and my sisters, listen, you went to school. Do you think human beings are stupid? Do you think someone will transport himself from another nation or another state? Some of you have not eaten since you came. You came straight to sit down. Is God so wicked to sit down and allow you carry your trouble and go back? Oh, not koinonia. I welcome you to a place where God has given us the keys to deal with everything that is not of God. I saw so many people standing outside the overflow by the roadside and compassion just gripped my heart i said imagine if i were one of these people and they were happily standing they were not complaining they just knew that if i may but touch the hem of his garment my brothers and my sisters let me tell you forgive me if it sounds proud but god has given us something let me tell you sincerely we we make bold and we ask the world to come and receive because he has given us something i told you last week you only knock a door that you don't have the key when you have a key you don't you stop knocking you open that's the same way your destiny will be open 
the lord declared prophetically that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness so in a meeting like this if i were you my heart is stayed on that word listen let me tell you please listen you see me teaching passionately we are going to pray when i teach like this huh? i don't teach as a preacher i come with my heart full of a burden are you getting what i'm saying i come sincerely with my heart full of a burden because i love god but i love his people too my greatest satisfaction is not my personal progress is seeing the hand of god made manifest in your life when instructions are given when these spiritual things are given you must open your heart to believe them you see the the gospel works with the simplicity of childlike faith sometimes many of us carry this trado african pride and that's what stops us from receiving god wants to step in and touch you and you are wondering will god really touch me you know my peculiar problem you know the name abba are you the first to be in trouble God knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble. Let me tell you this. I don't care what the situation is, but I want us to agree that this God of heaven, uh, the king of the universe, that he will arise for you tonight. You see, let me tell you this. My prayer this year, when I was fasting and praying this year, I prayed a prayer. I said, Lord, some people don't know what a testimony is. Give them one. They only know how other people's testimonies. The Lord did this for this, but they have never had a testimony themselves. The day you have a real testimony yourself, it will humble you. You wouldn't know whether to stand or to kneel down. That's what I'm praying for you for today. A testimony. testimony when the hand of God comes in a meeting and upon a man you see let me tell you this the supernatural is not just falling down and roll you can fall down and roll from left to right and stand up and go back and not testify the proof that God came is the testimony that follows the testimony the testimony of Jesus the testimony of Jesus apostle i came here barring march miracle service by april miracle service i'm one month pregnant that's a testimony listen come david down when the devil oppresses your life destroys everything about you he uses men as a canvas to write a letter to god that your dominion and your royalty is still being contested with oppression is a letter sent through men to God the highest of God's creation the devil writes upon your life I will destroy the family and I will make sure everyone begs like you send a um, a chat send and then a miracle is God's reply that God writes through you and says in spite of this I am still on the throne It's true. I believe in miracles. I honestly and truthfully believe in miracles. I believe in principles. I believe in mysteries. But I believe in divine intervention. My brothers and my sisters, God can shorten a man's journey. What then is the excellency of his mercy? Listen. God is a God of process. I agree. Listen carefully. God is a God of principles. I agree. He will not excuse laziness and he will not excuse spiritual laxity. But let me tell you, when blind Bartimio said, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. The mercy of God can shorten the journey of a man. If you get born again at age 40, do you know how long it takes to know God? genuinely know God you don't read your Bible in two months and know God but there's something the Spirit of God can do and give you a solid encounter that in six months you have caught up with the spiritual level of more than five years how about restoration your parents started building from 1999 till today it has stopped at Lintel level 
right there you went to school and said i'm going to pay it and finish everything the day you said you pay it you almost died i made a vow with my life that i will believe this word and i will engage it life is too risky to be careless with spiritual laws engage it don't wait until the devil kills your life and your children before you know many believers learn too late let me say this and thank god for his mercy you will receive but do you know there are some of you the lord spoke to you about coming here since last year you've been arguing and giving reasons and excuses your situation would not have been that bad but thank God because although Lazarus was three days dead, Jesus is still the resurrection and the life, not only the healer. When I prayed, I told the Lord, I said, please, Lord, give people a testimony, real testimonies. I was blind. Now I see. God did something in three weeks to my finances. Everybody see what God can do. God transformed my family. God turned me around and did something for me. I don't doubt your love for God, but there must be proofs of that love. There must be proofs of that love. Somebody shout, Lord, give me an evidence. Say, Lord, give me an evidence. I believe in proofs John chapter 4 and verse 48 I'll begin to pray shortly bless you 4 verse 48 he says and Jesus said unto him who was speaking here Jesus except ye see signs and wonders ye will not believe how true how true that there are so many people in your family until they see what the power of God does in your life they will never believe your God they think God is one of those things this is a charm this is this this is that and then God is one of them but the day like Dagon all those gods fall before the Almighty God and you return back with a solid evidence let me tell you that day like Pharaoh your loved ones who confess that this your God is God Are we together so i want you to be serious don't sit down and just look around and say ah who is going to receive let me clap for him no it's an insistence it's a desperation except you see miraculous signs you shall not believe luke chapter 5 we'll read the first 11 verses that miracles can help to create solid convictions Charles and Francis Hunter powerful evangelists they've gone to be with the Lord now they wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words I believe them I believe them the world is tired of our noise and our stories they want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God. It says, and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Next verse, please. And saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Uh -huh. We're reading to 11. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Next verse. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought. Five what happened Simon answering said master we have toiled all night in other words he said Lord look you are not the first to pray for me a man of God prayed for me in Zaria another man prayed in wherever you know so God is one of those things you bless me oh yeah do it master we have toiled all night not for a few hours all night night vigil looking for a fish and did not catch even one it says nevertheless at thy word I will let down the net six and when they had this done they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their seven 
and they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them and they came and filled both ships miracles can create relationships that you get a miracle and partners that were minding their business you can say come and join me who will not follow someone with results who will not let me tell you the bible talks about a wealthy man and um, how did he put it now a poor man that we even with much entreaties they will run away from him there are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us because you represent shame and anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. Ah, but the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delight. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sing. Verse 8 when simon peter saw this look at this this is what miracles do he fell down at jesus's knees saying depart from me i'm a sinful man was a sermon preached a serious miracle happened and that miracle created conviction the same way some of you have been laughing at men of god sincerely and laughing at everything that has to do with the power of god and by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight you will stand and go back quietly not talking to anybody and say i've seen today i heard with my ears like job but i've seen with my eyes that god is real and his power is real his grace is real nine for he was this is what led to the repentance he was so men can be astonished to repentance that they look at your life and say promise when did this happen when did god lift you was it not last year together we were discussing and you tell him there is a name god is called though, the lifter of men the lifter of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters run away from anybody who tell you results don't matter they do they do out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of god in your life the nations will bow to your god they will never bow to you just because you are talking man of god hear me no results you have mp pews there's there's no way around it there must be an evidence a serious evidence when john questioned the messiahship of jesus he didn't answer with a statement he said go and tell john what you have seen the blind see the deaf hear the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the meek and then he says blessed is he that is not offended so the moment there are no miracles the messiahship of the christ is questioned john himself the one who ordained jesus said go and ask him is he the messiah Miracles confirm that Jesus is the Messiah. God is not a herbalist. He's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists. No. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. There are people who have names. Politicians have names. Businessmen have names. Captains of industry. Gatekeepers of mountains have names. But my brothers and my sisters, there is a name. It says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved and it's in that name tonight that will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness the miraculous manifests the glory of God and causes people to not only believe God but to trust God John chapter 2 and verse 11 the first miracle of Jesus what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee he turned water to wine the Bible says this beginning of miracles this beginning of not this beginning of sermons not this beginning of discussions this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him 
believed on him we believe in the god that heals and saves and delivers that's why we kept the seats for you that's why we we knew you would come because the hand of god will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a god in heaven god is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of God to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him for God was with him for God was with him we're going to pray you have to convince yourself it's going to be a quick walk and we're going to cry to God and say Lord whatever I carried from my house whatever I carried from my place of work that I've brought before you it should not return back with me it should be clear and evident that i met the lord jesus christ it should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting i'd like you to talk to the lord please be serious and be desperate lord i have come to you i've come to you i've come to you i've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life lord i hear you are a restorer restore me online please make sure you are praying those outside make sure you are praying there is a god that answers prayer when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for them it says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev turn again our captivity there is a god that can turn around the captivity of men pray doesn't matter where you are seated doesn't matter where you are connecting from the power of God is able to save to the uttermost father I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night. That financial situation must die this night. That oppression that has kept my family down. Did the Bible not say this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith?
God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious You're a miracle worker. My God is, God is, is a glorious God. God. Glorious God. God is, God is, I know you are so shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit your own assignment is to receive you have come let me tell you something there is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you yours is to believe in the power of God it says if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this row. I'm seeing like, like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You reign. You reign. Hello. From outside I crush the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I crush the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus we silence the voice of wickedness we silence the voice of wickedness hold on please the Lord is showing me something right now. I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes. Inside and outside, bring them. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. 
even the lawful captives shall be delivered and the captives of the mighty by the fire of the Holy Spirit I judge those spirits wherever you are represented in anyone here represented in anyone here I speak by the hand of God you reign you reign hello bring them out I'm still on that case the power of God is still locating people I'm seeing snakes Jesus, I'm still praying. We are not doing too many things tonight. We are going to the root of many people's challenges. I'm saying it again. There are still spirits, and I speak by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Wherever they are, overflow one, two, three, across the road. I'm declaring judgment, judgment upon those spirits. The fire of God is coming upon you right now. Whether you are standing for yourself or for your family, bring them out. There is no escape for when his voice comes, they come out from their hiding place. Hallelujah. Now listen, there are people I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people and I'm seeing people beginning to run just run when you see people doing that hold them and bring them the Lord is bringing deliverance that one is not speed this one is not the prayer for speed I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me right now I decree and declare I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism but I stretch my hands by the spirit I command judgment on every force judgment on every power in the name of Jesus Christ the hand of God is coming upon them you will begin to see them run around just running is it's, it's not a, a making of their own it's by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out Oh, 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 oh. My help has come. Oh, 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 oh. My help. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. My help has come. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he's delivering families from the power of the grave in the name of Jesus Christ and at the count of three any family whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave I'm declaring at the count of three as you shout Jesus 
the power of God is setting you free. One, two, three. The spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, I cost you by the God of heaven. The spirit of the grave, I cost you by the God of heaven. Just follow me this night. Now, I'm praying for all those in front. They came out because the Lord showed something. I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three, I speak to these spirits. Release everything you have taken from these families. One, two, go, go, go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies. Out of their lives, out of their destinies. I command a release. I command a release. I command a release. Release breakthroughs. Release open doors. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me. That there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you. Or it may happen once in a while. This is a strange oppression of darkness. And I declare, I'm praying right now. I'm seeing fire all over this place. Because there are many people. That is the root cause of many oppressions in your life. At the count of three, you will shout that name again. That is above every other name. And some of you will feel something leaving you immediately. I declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions at the count of three, let there be emancipation. One, two, get ready. Three. I command those spirits, go now. Strangers of the night. Strangers of the night. Help that gentleman. Strangers of the night. Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I curse you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Hello, Kim Madonna. a certain family here I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone something that has to do with a stone I don't know what that means and in what tribe but I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever but in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the power of the Holy Spirit that any fraternity with the elements of Christ let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Help them, please. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The mysteries behind the strange hardship of people. The mysteries behind the oppression of people. Oppression of families. Doors, doors are opening. 
That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Doors. Doors. Some of you will feel fire on your hands. Fire on your hands. Doors are opening. Two leaf gates. In the spirit. Fire on your hand. You will know by the fire that comes to your hand. I'm seeing fire coming on people's hands. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Doors opening. You must testify. Doors opening. Doors opening. Doors opening. Age long doors. Age long doors that have been closed for many years. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet. Chains being removed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I saw an angel stand there. Chains being taken up from your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chains being taken from off your feet. Listen. Let me explain something to you. This is not just some disorganized jamboree. God is turning the destinies of men up. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy. Emmanuel. We're going to pray for the sick now. There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life. But there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me. I'm speaking by the spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you, but they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel, I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals, individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no, once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. I stretch my hands now among the Emmanuels and the people delay 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 there is an anointing coming now is crushing that spirit just because I'm praying for Emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you in the name of Jesus delay delay God is visiting delay broken by the spirit of God Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. He came to set the captives free. To set the captives free. Hold on. This young lady, lift your hands. This, this, yes, you. Lift your hands. I'm stretching my hands towards you. I don't know what it is that I saw, but I saw something like smoke. The other one, the smaller one with white. Yes. I just saw something like smoke coming out of you. And the Lord is saying this is oppression for many years. 
that has something to do with your abdominal region in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let that oppression go let it leave you let it go let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman now I'm going to pray for people generally but I don't know how we we'll do this there is a barren woman in overflow three barren woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb please if if you can allow the woman to run and come God is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child overflow three please let her run and come who is Maureen? Maureen. I'm hearing a name, Maureen. 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 What is your name? Lift your hands. Where are you from? Shout Jesus loud as you can. Jesus! Let the power of witchcraft over your life be broken. My dear, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Jesus! I crush that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And the man you see in your dream, in the name of Jesus, may you never see that man again. Please make sure you, they don't, why is mama here? Is she Maureen? This woman, I, I'll pray for you. That woman, come madam. Is that your daughter? Come madam. Where are you coming from ma? Let her come. Sir? Where are you coming from? I'm from area C. Area I'm C? No, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Mama, you are a sincere woman. But if I did not pray for you, huh? It's a bike that will kill you from the market in an accident. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead. I'm not a prophet of doom, mama. Please don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. I extend your life by the power of the Holy Spirit that the plague of death. See, let me prophesy upon someone here anyone here that the hand of death is upon you to see that you will not see the end of this year i'm praying by the spirit now i'm praying by the spirit and in the name of jesus anyone that the spirit of death is haunting anyone being haunted by the spirit of death i command that it is crushed now in jesus name what is your name my dear Maureen, come. You will look at a beautiful lady like this. But in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being but no face. No face like this. I'm just seeing a blank face like this. Let me tell you what this means. It's a yoke of bad luck. That people stand and cannot bless you. You have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded. The lady on yellow, lift your hands. There's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace that is upon you. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into it right now. I stretch my hands to you. Right now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring you into that grace. I'm still praying for her. In the name of Jesus I declare. I'm seeing fire coming upon you right now. And that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. bad luck listen I'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before I pray for her this is just allow me do my my mad thing hold my hand in the name of Jesus I'm not praying for her I'm praying for someone now by the Spirit of the Lord but the Lord is saying I should hold her as I pray for the person 
Lord, in the name of Jesus, this yoke of bad luck, I'm speaking now, please help them. This yoke of bad luck, by the power of the Holy Spirit, where good things don't seem to happen to you, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken now. 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 Now let me pray for you. Be free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I take away this that I'm seeing. And in the name of Jesus, you have an identity in the Spirit that brings honor, that brings grace and dignity. In Jesus' name I pray. Where are these ones? We're going to pray for the sick. Your name is Maureen. Are you married? You are married? Yes, sir. But you don't have a child? Yes, sir. From Overflow 3? Yes, sir. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not, but you are married? Yes, sir. Come and stand here and watch the God of wonders. I don't know you. Madam, from Overflow 3? You are from Overflow 3. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Why did you come? Your name is Maureen. What do you do, madam? Hold on. I'm a businesswoman. You are a businesswoman. Where? I used to sell at uh, yeah, um, Random Kanu. But right now, the business is... Do you know why I'm asking you? No. I must pray for you. Because this thing is not only you. There is nobody doing well in your family. Your entire family. This is what I'm saying. It's a spirit. Huh? Except you open up something and miss even physical money used to get missing from you You will keep money and count it and found find out that it's not what you kept. Is that true? If I'm lying, just say I'm lying Where are you from? From Enugu Anambra state. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the state Anambra I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus that anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you, be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Please help them. Be free in the name of Jesus. Anambra State, be free in the name of Jesus. I'm still seeing the map in my vision. Be free in the name of Jesus. My friend, that young man holding his hands, shout Jesus from where you are. The yoke is broken. I cast it out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Look at me. You insulted a woman some years ago and the woman told you it will not be well with you. It was like a joke. Truly the thing followed you. This is what God is showing me. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it. You insulted the woman and she stood and told you that it would not be well. Because what you were saying about her was not what she did. Hold my hands. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, the scourging tongues of men. The scourging tongues of men except you know where you stand a cause causeless shall not stand but if there is a cause it will stand though it will stand are we together now i will pray where are your siblings madam hi this woman no oh. you are not here alone where are the rest call them just stand where you call what is their name educate quickly please and victor educate come and and who Victor, that is and my Victor, son. Yes. Victor is not your brother. Victor is a small my boy. Son, yes. Where is he? Let him come. Because I'm seeing the boy. You are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah, uh, are you married? Yes. You have a son. Yes. Your son's name too is Victor. Yes, he's the one I'm calling. Is the boy that you are talking yes. about? 
You said your brother. No, AGK is my brother. Let the boy come. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? There are two boys, small boys, that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome, sir. I will pray for you. God is going to turn your family around. This is the little boy. My friend, how are you? Come. How old are you? 11 years old. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I will pray for you. How can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things? Do you know, let me tell you, these small children that steal are not thieves. It's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment, it was not dealt with because most of what they steal, they don't need it. That's how you know it's a spirit. Are we together? Yes. That's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy. Don't assume they will be spiritual by default. My friend, let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this adorable young man. And this guy has a great destiny. You see this boy? I'm looking at a star rising as I'm laying my hands on him. This is what the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. You will be a great man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold this woman. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, what do you do? A medical sales representative. You are a medical sales representative. Medical sales representative. Can I pray for you? Yes. You are a sincere person, eh? but this thing, they are just forces that want to destroy your family. I will pray for you. Eh? April, May, June. It will look like you held a charm. The way God will turn your life around. You believe it? In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Madam, come the power of god is coming upon you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare this thing that i'm seeing tied to your waist i lose it right now by the power of the holy spirit be set free now in the name of jesus christ you are the one trusting god for a child come how long have you been married three years three years yes. no child you too are you married five years four five months. years four months yes. no child child doctor said after two surgeries they said my husband cannot impregnate me he did surgery twice don't cry jesus is here huh you went through two surgeries where is your husband he's at home, he's at home. don't cry where are you from where are you coming from Graceland. you see th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through Sometimes we take some things for granted. Imagine the advices. Someone now will recommend and say, go to a herbalist. Go and do this. And don't cry, my sister. Two surgeries you went through. My head. Now, I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Look at what is happening to her. Yes, she went through two surgeries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free now. Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands. Come. In the name of Jesus. I declare supernatural miracle for you now release this woman now as I'm praying for you I'm praying for your husband wherever he is according to the time of life may you return with your miracle children it's over in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God my dear let me why is this woman here 
You are married to madam? No child? How long? Four years and um, five months. Four years, five months. Where are you coming from? Jigawa State. From Jigawa State. Please come. Oh dear. All the walk, 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 turning things around. All the walk, 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 turning things around. All the walk, 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 turning things around. Oh my God! Do you know why God is dealing with these issues? Because He has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Is fruitfulness from any dimension? any dimension look at this woman look at these women crying i may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in i think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family that you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from my sister please don't cry who brought you here you came alone sarah huh? sarah oh dear Put your hand on your stomach. Is she a Christian? She's, she's a Christian? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you are a Muslim or Christian. The Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb and I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness, let it be broken right now. Look at this, let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing, but I'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here yes. father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we are not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasara state are you alone no I'm you alone. came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there freedom now. I'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job 
Who is that person? Six graduates. Please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out. Six graduates, no job, not one person has a job. I want to pray for you. You're the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? I have to pray for you. I'm seeing something in your stomach. Have you gone to the hospital? You've spoken with a doctor? Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing something growing in your stomach. And this is not a baby. I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you, you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me. And I'm going to pray for you. Where are you coming from, madam? Kano. Kano. Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's Daddy something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here, he's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Thing come out of you. Opportunity to hand their lives, opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb. And I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness. Let it be broken right now. Look at this. Let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing. But I'm seeing something come out of you. And you are coughing, coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be gone now. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. What's your name? Blessing. Blessing. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not here. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't care what the medical report is. We agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now. I decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasarawa state are you alone no I'm you alone. came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of jesus by the mercy of god let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there freedom now. i'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb 
Huh? I have to pray for you. I'm seeing something in your stomach. Have you gone to the hospital? You've spoken with a doctor? Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing something growing in your stomach. And this is not a baby. I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you, you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me. And I'm going to pray for you. Where are you coming from, madam? Kano. Kano. Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's Daddy something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here, he's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Number one, God is going to give you the fruit of the womb. Number two, God is restoring your finances. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. God is restoring your finances. Amen. This is a serious issue. As you are here coming now, the financial trouble you are into is only God that can bring you out. Amen. Is that true? God is going to help you. Madam, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, why are they here? Six graduates, no job. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, by your mercy and by your grace, let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman. Just keep her down. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is wrong be corrected now. In the name of Jesus, sir, please can you hold my hands? In the name of Jesus, I speak over your finances. There is a grace that can restore and I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, let me talk to you and then we'll pray for the sick. You are the, both of you, where are you coming from? You are here in Zaria? Yes. And you are, yes, I know your face. Six graduates, no job. Yes, sir. Including you? Yes, sir. Come. No. But there are six Nigeria, people. No. Yes. But there's no job for yes, them. Yes, sir. Can we agree that God will give them a job? Yes, sir. And you too? Yes. Let's pray. Come. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is an anointing that is coming upon you, eh? and is for the sake of your family in the name that is above all names i release this grace upon you and i pray let the embargo of joblessness be broken now even on both of you i use you as a point of contact to pray now something is leaving this lady's hand you something is leaving your hand i cost that yoke now in the name of jesus your hand is a symbol of your productivity and I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be liberty. Liberty for all of you. Liberty. I open the doors of jobs. In Jesus' name I pray. Why is he here? You are a graduate. Six. From where, please? From Abuja. Abuja. Yes. You are a school of ministry student. Madam, let me talk to you. Where are you coming from? Natural State. Are you married? Bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit. The hand of God is coming upon someone. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous please bring the person let's save time father i establish this victory over this lady's life the oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever broken now and broken forever We don't have time our time is gone but the lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed i'm seeing this guy carry not you now i'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in kaduna state Hello, Kim Madonna
under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity I stand by the hand of God whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so. I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing, help me. Please, I'm just using two of you as a point of contact. But I'm seeing a spirit. This is an ancient spirit. The way this thing works is that men rise. The moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing, they must die. This is the spirit I'm seeing. Please listen. I'm not... I'm just using them and I'm ministering the way God is showing me. These are not the only families with this thing, but the Lord is saying I should deal with it now. Provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle, you, no death will touch you. But the moment you touch that bar, you are going down. And the Lord wants to destroy it. Because God is using both of you to start a new program in the family. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of our family. As small as you are seeing this, this little girl. Because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family. And as small as she is, the devil wants to kill her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I use this, my dear daughter, as a point of contact. That everything that is not the planting of God, I scatter it now in the name of Jesus. May God use this, our precious daughter, and truly may she be the deliverer of her family. In the name of Jesus. A lady is going to start running because I'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family. And that spirit is going to start driving her to run away. So I'm telling you in advance, you are going to see the person stand up to start running away. It's, it's not even this lady I'm talking about. This is somebody in the crowd. You will not even you will not be in control of yourself. It's a spirit because I'm about to rebuke it right now. Mm. Father, I thank you for the Bonire family and by extension the various families. The altar that sits upon this family. Even the lawful captives came 
shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives, I break that yoke now. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood. That ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken. I open up the door of increase. Rise to the zenith of your profession. I forbid the spirit of death once and for all. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, an issue that is age long. Let me tell you this. A mighty deliverance has happened to this family. This thing I'm telling you, fought their grandparents, fought their parents. And if not delivered now, will still fight them. If there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family, you rise to a position and crash down. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar, scatter that altar forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. It took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble. Now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from? Nasarawa just, State. just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her. You are not from Nasarawa State. You stay in Nasarawa yes, State. Sir. Where are you from? Ebony State. Ebony State. Ebony State. I want to pray for you. Am I wasting your time, please? One encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around. My friend, this man wearing um, you. Yes. Did you come alone? Who did you come with? Where is your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up. Stand up. Please stand up. Stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, sir. What do you do? I am lecturing the university. You are a lecturer. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man. You, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you, you but sir. you are a brilliant man. It's even you, too grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, sir. It's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, you are too exceptional. Yes, sir. You are supposed to be abroad now. Yes, I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Sir. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about. That you carry a man's destiny see let me say it i'm praying to you from my heart that in the name of jesus whatever belongs to you and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men it must be released this night it must be released this night sir please stand up what's your department Sorry, sir. Political science, can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You will know that there is a God in heaven. Amen. Amen. What do you do, my dear? I'm not doing anything. You are not doing anything. No, sir. I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Huh? That trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you. And I release your destiny. Amen. Both for you and your wife. Amen. I decree and declare. Scale new heights in your profession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. There is a friend in your life. And the Lord is telling me to tell you to be careful. There is a friend in your life. Be careful. 
I won't say more than that. Be careful. What God has joined, let no man put asunder. I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Bokos. Huh? Bokos. From Joss. Not state of origin where you came from, that you left it and came. Huh? I want to pray for you. What do you do? I, I, I'm a secretary. You are what? I'm a secretary. You are a secretary? Yes, sir. Come, let me pray for you. I... One of these days, we'll just trust God and do a night vigil. Honestly, so that we can deal with this issue seriously. You may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss? Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have what they call that pregnancy that they'll have to do. Um, no, bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. I'm not pregnant. All done. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy. Like it's breached. This is what I'm saying. The pregnancy that looks like it's that will open you up and carry something out. Where are you coming from? Joss. What did they say is wrong with you? Um, multiple fibers. No. A man, don't feel embarrassed. Can I talk to you? A man used to come in a dream. Huh? Yes, and sleep with you. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. That's what brought this pregnancy. I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, sir. Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes and all of a sudden this started coming. Of course, medically you would think that, okay, you check it. There is nothing there. Yet the pregnancy will not go. How long has this thing been? Three years. Three years. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. Who did you come with? <laughs> May this place remain a place of solutions. <laughs> Was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men and they became pregnant physically and had strange... Go and listen to my teaching. The mystery of the serpent and the woman. My sister, can I pray for you? You believe in Jesus. Look at this adorable lady. Look at... Imagine a woman carrying this for three years. Is that pregnancy? A, does a human being stay three years in the stomach? Are you married? Of course, imagine what this, this means to her marital life. Put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at what is happening to the woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by God, let it be uprooted in this body. Is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father, it must be uprooted. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus. By a strange mystery, may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body in the name of jesus christ just keep her down there madam let me pray for you what do you want the lord to do for you i'm believing him for a life partner life partner do you believe god can give you a life partner yes, sir. do you love jesus? love jesus you are born again father the bible says male and female he created them she's not embarrassed she's standing sincerely and telling you that I came so that God will bless me with a life partner I lay my hands upon you and I decree and declare 
may God bring a responsible man to your life. Amen. You will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it so. And for all these people standing, I pray for them. May the Lord himself bring miracles over their life. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. I may not have time to minister to all of you one by one. Please forgive me. Huh? Coincidentally, I'm going to just tomorrow. I'll be in just Saturday, Sunday. I'm ministering in a conference. I'm excited. I'll be in House on the Rock at Rayfield. Saturday and Sunday. I'm in just. But let me pray for you. All of you who came all the way. My dear, look at me. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. With all your heart? Yes, sir. I drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life. Say amen. Amen. You, you may not understand what I'm saying, but let me repeat myself. I drive, I didn't say God drove him. In the name of Jesus Christ, as one who loves you, eh? I drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm amen. not looking down. It is God's will that all men be saved. But then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimony. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God. Can we still pray for the sick? How many of you are trusting God for healing? Let me see your hands out there. Okay, this is what is going to happen. It's okay, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. you. You came, you brought them. Okay, I'm going to pray for you now. You just relax. Now, please, because of time, those under the anointing, just leave them if there's no... Usher, hold on. A lady usher, place your hand on that girl. Any lady usher. Release her now. Out! In the name of Jesus. Let it come to an end now and forever. Release her destiny. Release her family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be restoration. Let there be testimonies. Please, this is how we are going to do it. Because our time is already gone. We are going to do three things at the same time. Please listen. Number one, you are going to be submitting your prayer requests. Number two, those who are trusting God for healing in the various overflows. Please, aside from those that I prayed for, for barrenness, if your reason of coming here is barrenness, whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I want you to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you myself. Aside from that, please, you are trusting God for a healing miracle. I want you to move to your various overflows. So those at overflow one, move to the front of your projector stand. Overflow two, the same thing. Overflow three, the same thing. Those by the roadside, the roadside down to second equa. Join overflow two. You can join overflow two, please. Usher's protocol PR department, coordinate yourself to help them, please. So that the people know what they are doing. Praise the Lord. Those in here, you can come. You can come. The Lord bless you. Now, there are going to be men and women of God scattered across these various places who are ministering under a corporate anointing. Make sure you are standing for healing, please. Make sure you are standing for healing. No, no, no. Those for fruit of the womb, come in, please. The main auditorium. I want to lay hands on you by myself. It doesn't matter what overflow you are. If it is fruit of the womb, please come. The main auditorium. I want to pray for you. Now, please listen. Just a touch is enough. You don't have to start explaining and telling the men of God this is a problem. Sometimes God can give them words. 
if they don't don't worry just a touch and you will go back i want you to believe this that's why you came are we together while that is happening if you have your prayer request here you can just wave it and pass it let there be an usher okay um peace is here you can pass it let there be an usher or somebody please um the various departments coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this let's make it fast those online um you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests and we're going to pray on it right now please quickly quickly A Jimmy and a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. A Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. Um, Pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three. Overflow three. Pastor Femi and Kenny. And Ima go to overflow too. Also extend to those by the roadside. Extend to those by the roadside. Did you get? Let me pray for you, Pastor Lawrence. Come. I will pray for you and then you will join those at overflow three. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing, let the grace of the Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, please, worship team, you give us songs of the Spirit while we are ministering. And as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back rejoicing. Those who are seated, don't be careless, be praying in the Spirit. Because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and there will be someone to reach you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that within the next 10 or so minutes that we have, do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone will fall under the anointing here. Once that happens, the power of God will start move to heal. Right here, those in front here okay so i can start praying now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed praise the lord please everyone stand say after me in the name of jesus whether you are inside or outside say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now lift up your voice and begin to pray please begin to pray
name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to begin to declare that every request you have written here, that by the grace of God, this will be the last time you have to visit this issue. Please pray. Please pray. Our time is gone, but let's make use of the time. stretch your hands here and begin to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God every request that I've written here by the God of heaven let this be the last time may the Lord arise and solve impossible situations arise in the name of Jesus are you praying father that these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever the requests of those localized here and those who have posted their requests on our social media platforms we declare intervention we declare breakthrough we declare increase hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ we declare and we agree as a family of faith that this request will turn into testimonies in your life we declare that this request turn into supernatural testimonies the same way I am standing upon them, I decree you stand upon every situation that is represented here in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that they are still praying for a few people, but let me just pray the final prophetic blessing on you because our time is gone. He says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. I decree and declare, every economic hardship that is bringing the saints to their knees and causing them to compromise, I declare that you are exempted from it now. Every prayerlessness represented in this place that the grace to pray seems to have gone down in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar anybody introduced by the devil into your life or your circle to destroy you I severe you from them right now in Jesus' name. I speak favor over your life. And I declare in the name of Jesus, walk in favor. 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 Therefore, God has exalted him and given him a name. That is above every other name it says that at the mention of that name every knee must bow i declare whatever must bow in your life from tonight let it bow right now let me pray for you finally and especially for those of us who are not within this city if you traveled far and came i'm praying for you now in the name that is above all names to all our visitors and all those who connect with us from far that includes those from our social media platforms i decree and declare whatever the issue of concern is that brought you here 
Return with the answers now. Return with the answers now. You will not need to tell people you came here. There will be the radiance and the glory of the spirit upon your life. I declare that every door that has refused to open, even as the Lord kept revealing here, I enforce it and we call that door open now. The new month is the fourth month of the year. The number four stands for balance. That means that whatever is left that must be shown in your life, you are blessed here but not yet blessed here. You are blessed here but not yet blessed here. I declare completion for you now. May April bring you completion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.